It's important that you familiarize yourself with the controls of your bandsaw prior to starting it for the first time. Ensure that the machine is connected to power. The main disconnect switch on the side of the control panel is switched to the on position and that the emergency stop button is released. For the blade to operate, the bandsaw door has to be completely shut and blade tension must be between 2,600 and 3,000 pounds. You can adjust the blade tension by rotating the handle on the saw head, which is directly connected to the saw's band wheel. To confirm proper band tension, view the digital readout on the control panel. The control panel features all the controls necessary to operate the electrical and hydraulic functions of the saw. On the left, you'll see the hydraulic feed control. It consists of the feed force setting knob, the feed rate knob, and the head fast approach lever. The desired feed force and feed rate is going to vary based on the type of material you're cutting. Please refer to the saw cutting parameters chart on the saw or in your manual to select the correct feed force and feed rate. Before we move forward to complete a cut, let's first review the buttons on the control panel and their function. The enable button located on the side of the control panel must be pushed and held along with the vice open or closed buttons. This is a safety feature. The emergency stop button stops both the hydraulic and blade motors. To reset, simply rotate the button 45 degrees. Blade speed is controlled by the blade speed dial. When the machine first starts up, you must use the F5 button to home the shuttle. This ensures that the shuttle is back at its home position, allowing all cut measurements to be accurate. A joystick allows for control of head up and head down movement, as well as shuttle forward and reverse functions. The head will only raise as high as set manually with the saw's head up limit switch. It can be adjusted as shown here on the saw. Pressing and holding the fast button prior to moving the joystick will allow for faster movement of the head and shuttle. Shuffle through the three cutting modes on the saw by pressing this button shown. This particular saw operates in manual mode, automatic mode, and automatic cue mode. To adjust the vices, you need to remember to press the enable button while also pressing the vice buttons on the touch screen. These buttons control the front vice open and close. Movement will continue until you let go of the button or the vice is completely open or there's resistance when closing. The button will turn green when it's selected. The shuttle vice buttons can be identified by the arrow underneath the vices. Like the front vices, you must also use the enable button at the same time to operate the shuttle vices. If your machine is equipped with overhead bundling, note that it operates in tandem with the opening and closing of the vise. Should you wish to turn off overhead bundling at any time, there is a valve that can be turned off located near the overhead bundling as shown. The blade enable button, F6, is used to enable the blade prior to starting a cut. The blade cycle start button, F7, is pressed to initiate blade and cycle start while in manual and automatic mode. The stop button, F8, is pressed to stop the blade. You can toggle between the work light or laser light by pressing this button. The button will stay green when selected. The button that looks like a tap allows you to select between coolant modes. When a white background is shown, no coolant will flow. When manual mode is selected, coolant will flow continuously. And when automatic mode is selected, coolant will flow only when the blade is running. You can switch between imperial and metric mode with the millimeter inch button. If your model has the optional mist lubrication, you can turn it on and off with this button shown. When manual mode is selected, mist will run continuously. And when automatic mode is selected, mist will only operate when the blade start has been initiated. We hope that this quick overview has helped to give you a better understanding of the TS50 controller interface.